many of our patients suffer from pyro disorder in which they're losing B6 and zinc through urine due to the fact that they produce large quantity of the cryptopyro, which is the metabolites broken down by the hemoglobin. Some patients also suffer from a methylation disorder, either undermethylated or overmethylated, and some suffer from the overload of copper. And this patient is being diagnosed with all kinds of mental illness. And the question from the families and the patients is that why did it happen to them? Here's Dr. Yang's health talk. Health is our number one asset. Let's take good care of it. If we evaluate each case carefully, we often find there is strong family history of similar illness disease, either sides of parents or both sides of the parents, which means there is strong genetic predisposition that people inherited to have this problem. However, people don't always have problems until at a certain time, a certain age, under certain circumstances. The question is, if genetic determine what happened to us, why it didn't happen all the time? And why it didn't happen to all the family members that share a common genetic predisposition? The answer is lies in the concept of epigenetics. The epigenetics is a study between how your genetic behavior is affected by environmental factors. Those environmental factors is including the fact of whether you are exposed to toxins, bacteria, virus, a poisonous, and air pollutions. It's also influenced by the diet you eat. If you're eating a diet that lack of B12, folic acids, or healthy fat, it may have a negative impact on your genes, which can cause mutation of the DNA and cause chronic illnesses and uh, cancer. The people who tend to have light shifts or sleep disorder have that problem too, and the chronic emotional distress or stress. Of course, biochemically, it has impact on them too. When young people hit their puberties, there's a lot of hormonal changes, as well as social stress and pressure. It can also create the genetic expression that causes mental and physical illnesses. A lot of young people begin to have health problems when they're entering college. Not only they experience a biochemical stress, but also social environmental changes create emotional distress. Some people drink, some people smoke, some people use other recreational drugs, which all contribute to epigenetic disorders. So therefore, yes, we are genetically predetermined in many ways, but our own lifestyle and how we manage our emotional stress can make a great difference. In this sense, how healthy you can be is totally in your own hands. Thank you for watching this video. It's Dr. Yang's Health Talk. I'll see you next time.